we ran out of space on the floor this year and uh, needed to take that away. <laughs> and we brought you back in here. And uh, um, it's not that we're cutting budgets. Uh, we just uh, need to accommodate more exhibitors. So we have some music. <laughs> so um, welcome to the ninth edition of uh, <coughs> Integrated Systems Europe. I apologize. Uh, last night, we opened the show with uh, the keynote for the first time. We decided to, to extend ISE to be more of an event than just an exhibition. And like our American parent companies, uh, they've always opened with a very interesting keynote speaker. We tried to find somebody who was neutral to a particular manufacturer, and we invited uh, Gerhard Schultz, senior VP of Ingram Micro, uh, one of the strongest distributors in the IT area. Uh, to come and talk to you because we felt our land, our landscape is changing. The IT uh, vendors are getting more and more into uh, the AV sector because the products in our industry are becoming more and more reliant on IT. Our manufacturers, our integrators are trying to actually address the IT market as well because they're becoming influential in the choice of AV equipment. And so we invited Gerhard Schultz uh, yesterday to give us uh, a talk which would be more neutral, more product neutral, and talk more about the market. And uh, I think uh, it was very, very interesting. Um, Gerhard made a statement uh, that systems integration will take an in interest and increasing stake in the value chain and embrace substantial business opportunities uh, for the market. I think it's very, very relevant to where we're going and what we're doing. The future belongs to systems integration. And you're going to see it here at ISE. I don't know if any of you have been out on the floor yet, but I am amazed at the standards. Uh, our manufacturers here have taken everything up another level. Um, I'm always proud to walk around the show the night before or the morning before and just see all the booths that have been built there. And I will tell you, it is fascinating. You will enjoy this show. And that's, not, that's without the products. <laughs> um, our three themes this year for marketing were, were see, hear, touch, listen, learn, share, meet, greet, and network. We want to get you, you to have all the experiences of being here and learn about this business. See, hear, touch. More than 1,000 technology launches. We have seen so many product uh, in, information from the manufacturers saying about which products are going to be launched. Um, Pre-announcements uh, to us. Uh, and we've made a calculation that there'll be more than a thousand new products being launched here at this show uh, this week. Uh, it is now the event at the beginning of the R&D calendar for our industry. We're fortunate of the timing, but everybody has started to change their R&D cycles now to launch products at ISE, and we're proud to see that. We have new things this year. Um, we've made a bigger push on unified communications. and. Hall 12, which is the middle of Elysium, is uh, pr uh, dedicated to uh, unified communication. So you'll see companies like LifeSize, Polycom, Cisco, etc., in that hall presenting their products and uh, solutions. We've added another residential so solutions area in Hall 7. So even more, gr we're growing bigger and bigger. We always say to you, bigger, better, more. Well, it really is true. And you will see the biggest digital signage area in any event in Europe present here at ISE. We have two halls of uh, digital signage. That's halls 9 and 10. Uh, almost every manufacturer uh, in that uh, sphere presenting their solutions, not only there, on the rest of the show floor as well. Those companies who are not just dedicated dig digital signage, you'll find in other parts of the hall. Listen, learn, and share. We had for um, education and events before the show, more than 2,000 pre-registered um, uh, attendees for the off-floor uh, attend um, events. Cedia had a 120% increase in the attendance over last year in education. In addition to that, 
we focused the education zones of Infocom and Cedia together, all in Hall 12, to present education for our industry in one place. Uh, meet, greet, and network. Um, we believe here there are more meetings off the floor as well as on the floor. There are more networks, more um, uh, connections here which are forged as a result of the industry coming together. We bring more manufacturers, distributors, and integrators together than, and end customers than anywhere else. We started the opening reception, which was jointly sponsored by CD and Infocom, to give an opportunity for those people to get together off the show floor and meet and make a start to this week. What else? Um, I think the biggest thing in the news in, in the last months has uh, been the economic climate in Europe. Yes, you know, we, we see issues there, but our industry is defying that at the moment. We see business is still going up in certain sectors. Yes, there are companies who are suffering. There are companies who may have disappeared from the marketplace. But generally, sales in the marketplace are still on the up. And I think you will see the difference here that this is a reflection. ISE is a reflection of the longevity and buoyancy of this business. So where are we in numbers? Well, 826 exhibitors. That's 15% up on last year. Tremendous growth for any exhibition, let alone in the AV business. And we're proud to see the support that we get. More than 31,000 net square meters of space. That's 16% uh, up from last year. And when we count the entire area that we're using here at the Rye uh, for exhibitions, uh, for this exhibition, that's 63, almost 64,000 square meters of space being used for ISE, making the biggest event uh, in the EMEA region. So I think one of the things you're all asking me is, well, OK, how many people are coming? It's always the bet. <laughs> Well, this morning, uh, pre-registration stood at 36,702. That's 21% up on last year, before we even opened the doors. Um, the expected total attendance, well, it's everybody's guess. We don't know what happens with the weather. Uh, we have some internal bets here. Um, I can tell you last year, I think we had just over 5,000 on-site registrations, people who came and registered on the days uh, the three days of the show. So make your own guesses. We have our internal bets. I think I've underbet. I've, I've wasted 10 euros with my team. Um, I said 40,000. Um, my personal opinion, I think, will exceed that substantially. But let's wait until Thursday where we'll give you the real figures. So thank you. I hope that's a good start. Gives you some facts and figures to start the event with. Um, I'd like to just introduce a couple of people who you'll see walking around the show. Uh, Don Gilpin. Don, would you mind standing up? Don is our Deputy Chairman of ISE and the CEO of Cedia. He is, um, will be next year's Chairman of ISE um, and has been a previous Chairman of ISE and uh, very, very, very um, strategic in our leadership and uh, bringing this show on. We also have uh, Hans Bakker, who's the CEO of the RIE. Um, we announced in July this year that we'd signed a five-year contract with the Rye, and we're really pleased to give the industry forward thinking about where we're going and the fact we're staying in this facility, and we're pleased for the support we get from you in uh, making ISE work in this city. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you'll see members of our board around. They have badges. Ask them whatever you like. Photograph them. Uh, they'll please, be pleased to answer questions. They are people out of this industry, so they're part of this. They don't do anything else. Uh, so this, this event and this industry is as important to them as it is to you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please come and join us in front of halls uh, one and two for the opening, uh, uh, reception, uh, opening ceremony Sorry, that will start in about uh, 10 minutes. And uh, welcome to ISE. Thank you. Thank you.